This painting is called Hylas and the Nymphs. It was painted by John William Waterhouse, who was an icon of the Romantic art movement, and this was painted in 1896. Now, Hylas himself, the man kneeling on the bank of the pond here, is dressed in a very romanticized way. This is very much the contemporary, idealized version of ancient Greek clothing, not paying too much attention to historical accuracy. It's more about the emotion and overall tone of the painting. He's wearing this rich blue type of tunic that's almost an indigo color, and it's accented with a bright red belt to make him stand out against the natural tones of the background. And then you can see these water nymphs emerging from the spring. But this spring is also filled with water lilies, and many of them have water lily flowers in their hair, too. Which is appropriate because the scientific name for the water lily is nymphaea, or nymphia, which of course comes from the word nymph. So you have these water spirits in a pond full of plants named after them, and that is a really lovely touch. However, we also have to keep in mind the context of this painting and the myth it comes from. Hylas was actually one of Hercules' lovers, and the two of them joined the crew of the Argo, which was, of course, Jason's ship, as he went out to find the Golden Fleece. At one point in this quest, they stopped at the country of Mysia, which is now part of Turkey, and Hylas was the one who was sent out to find water. He came across a spring, but the nymphs of the spring lured him into the water and drowned him, and he was never heard from again. The way the painting is framed, the position of the viewer is slightly above the whole scene, so we can't see the sky and the pond takes up almost the entire frame. You're looking down on this all taking place. You can't see what kind of landscape the spring is in, or anything really past it, so your vision is kind of forced to turn towards these nymphs, which almost puts you in a similar situation to Hylas right now. You can't focus on anything except them, and their beauty kind of distracts you from the story of the painting and the very real physical danger Hylas is in. If we look closer, we can see that one of them is already holding his arm, and another one has her hand on the hem of his tunic. This tells us that it's too late for him to turn back. He's under their spell, and they are right about to pull him into the water. So this is the moment right before that happens. And another nymph right behind the one holding his arm also has some pearls in her hand and she's looking up at him. So he's being beckoned in, not just by their beauty, but also by the promise of material wealth. 